Good morning, Freddy Bunch. How is everybody doing today? It is super early. It's like 7.30 almost on a Saturday. And I've been up for like two hours already. And I am so hungry. So I thought that it would be a good idea to make breakfast. Jake stayed at a friend's last night, so it'll be here when he gets here. But yeah, so today I'm going to be making baked chocolate glazed donuts. And I've never baked donuts before. I've made these to donuts. So I'm excited because I've had this donut pan forever and never used it. Cause I was like, oh, I'll bake donuts. And when Jake and I were doing low carb, I would see a lot of uh, like low carb donut recipes and so that's why I bought this but I never actually made any of them so I haven't had the chance to use this so I'm excited that I have this it's already sprayed with non-stick cooking spray so this is good to go whenever we need it I think I think I got this at Aldi um it was either Aldi or TJ Maxx so you can find these online just about anywhere so you will need one of these and if you don't have one of these you can use a muffin tin and just ball up like parchment paper or aluminum foil to put in the middle of your um cupcake or muffin pan and it would work just fine <laughs> so if you guys are ready to get started i'm ready to get started i'm hungry so let's do this okay so we're going to need two mixing bowls. I have a larger bowl and I have a smaller bowl. So in the large bowl, we're gonna combine our dry ingredients. We need one cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, half a cup of sugar, quarter cup of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. If you don't have chocolate chips, you can omit them, but I thought it sounded good. Here we are. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon salt. I have a whisk, so we're just gonna whisk to incorporate. We're gonna set this aside. In our smaller mixing bowl, we're gonna combine our wet ingredients. So we need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one large egg, six tablespoons of plain Greek yogurt. If you don't have Greek yogurt, you can use sour cream. Or if you don't have plain yogurt, you could use vanilla yogurt. Um, the important thing is the consistency. So you want something that's a little bit thicker than just standard yogurt. You need a quarter cup of milk and a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Using the same whisk, we're gonna whisk to combine. So we're looking like that. Now we're just gonna add our wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Now with a rubber spatula, we're going to combine. So there is the dough. These are going to be kind of like a cake donut since they're being baked and there's no yeast in them. So that's exciting. I have my donut pan here. I transferred the dough into a Ziploc baggie to better um, control how much is going into the molds but you can absolutely spoon your dough in if that's what you want to do. So we're just going to take this. Tie it in a circle. So here we go. They kind, of, they kind of look like little pieces of poop right now, but it's okay. I assure you that it's donut dough and they will be donuts when they're done being baked. <laughs> Um, so these are going to be a 375 degree oven for about eight to nine minutes until they spring back when they are touched. And then we're gonna let them cool in the pan before we transfer them to a cooling rack. You should get approximately 10 donuts out of this recipe. Anything else beyond that is just a bonus. So I will show you how to make the glaze and we will glaze them in just a moment. Okay, so it's glaze time. The glaze is super simple. We're just going to do one and a half cups of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a quarter cup of milk. Whisk this all together. Here are the donuts. This is exciting. Look at 
how nice they look. They're not super big, which is good. It'll be a nice little treat for the morning. My second batch ended up being a lot smaller than my first batch, um, but I was really trying to stretch my dough to get an even dozen donuts here. So we've got some big, some small, but that's all right. Donuts of all shapes and sizes are perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. We love them all. We are all inclusive in this house. <laughs> So I have them on a cooling rack and they are cold to the touch. Donut. I'm just going to pop it in the glaze, flip it over, and put it on the cooling rack. We're going to let these set for five minutes before we go and eat them. I'm just going to finish glazing the rest. <clears throat> these have been sitting out I made myself a cup of coffee because what goes better with donuts than coffee tried and true so I've been eyeballing this one so I just want to oh yeah that's the stuff Oh, perfect combination. Perfect. Oh, my word. My word. My goodness. That is. Mm. Oh. Truly, this world does not deserve me because I am too great for it. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Just kidding. I am humble. This is actually humble tea that I'm drinking. <laughs> oh my gosh so good so easy and i can guarantee you that you have everything that you need in your refrigerator to make these everything you need in your cabinet to make these super easy like half hour boom you're done like worth it totally worth it so good so yummy perfect little breakfast snack afternoon snack dinner snack dessert snack all day snack it is rainy and poopy outside so this is my all day snack while I have a Disney movie marathon. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day wherever you're at. Take care of yourselves, be safe, and until next time.